Recently, I was speaking to a friend of mine, and she was uh, very happy. Her husband is doing very well uh, in the corporate field, and um, you know they've moved up uh, uh, financially. Um, you know they've been able to achieve a lot of their financial goals: a nice house, a big car, a great designation uh, mention in the papers, um, awards, all of that. And I was like so happy for her, and. Uh, until she told me that you know uh, her husband is extremely stressed uh, he's traveling you know uh, all the time he's at work 15 14 16 hours a day um, he doesn't get too much time to spend with her and the kids uh, there's too much of responsibility and stress and it, uh, the way she was talking was that it's a normal thing come on I mean you know if he wanted all this money then obviously it would come at a price and the price is that uh, she never gets to see her husband the price is that he's always stressed the price is that he started developing uh, you know health issues so it kind of struck me and broke my heart at the same time that why is the corporate culture in India uh, you know seen as something that comes with stress why is uh, work always always related to stress why is stress seen as something that is uh, acceptable why is it why why do we talk about stress management why do we talk about managing our stress why should it be about banishment of stress why why can't the ceo of a company work 10 hours 12 hours and not have stress do you know what stress actually is stress is basically not being okay with the way things are so if i'm not okay with the way things are i will be upset about it and that is stress if i'm okay with the way things are even when they're not going according to our plan that is what stress is my point is why should we not work very hard to make sure that we remove stress from our life before we get down to work work why is the corporate culture of india seen as something that is so highly stressful that you know the golden handcuffs is the only reason why you're working where you're working and uh, not because that's the passion of your life um, i'm not saying in all cases but most of the cases i feel that people are working because of the golden handcuffs because of the money they make because of the salary the designation the fancy lifestyle that comes with a, a great deal of responsibility I think it's possible to have a great deal of responsibility. I think it's possible to conduct a great amount of work. I think it's possible to um, achieve a lot of things, including awards and designations and fancy salaries. And I think it's possible to do that without stress. I think it's um, very important that before we get down to work on a daily basis, we spend some time in sorting ourselves out. You know, uh, whatever it takes, meditation, physical exercise, uh, silence whatever it takes but uh, I genuinely believe in the working DNA of Indians I think we are solid people we are way above average when it comes to smarts and you know intelligence and the ability to create big stuff out of nothing the ability to start at zero start from scratch and be the conversion uh, factors uh, and we've been able to do that for many, many years. I don't understand why stress has to be part of the mix. I think we can be determined and focused and go-getters and, you know, um, uh, great achievers at a national and international level. And uh, we can do all this without stress. Find out what you're doing in your life. If you're doing it with great passion, make sure that stress is not part of your life. It's not easy but it can be done. Nobody can be happy all the time. Yes, not even a happiness coach like me. What all of us can benefit from is to become more conscious, more aware of our mind, our thoughts, and how our mind actually works. This is my endeavor with this YouTube channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like more than one video, then subscribe to this channel. And if you think videos like this could be of value to somebody you care about, then please recommend this channel to them. Thank you, cheers and have a lovely 2021.